we're going to take you on a walk along the Paddyham Greenway, starting off at Rosegrove Railway Station and finishing in the Memorial Park in the centre of Paddyham. It's about a two and a half mile walk and there's plenty to discover along the way. The station here has an interesting history. It used to have a huge goods yard to handle freight traffic, including coal for local power stations. We start our walk by heading out of the station and down to the towpath, following the curve of the Leeds Liverpool Canal. The path takes us under a railway bridge and the M65 motorway. When steam trains ran from Rose Grove, the canal provided the large amount of water needed to supply the engines, and the old steam engine sheds used to be housed nearby. The canal network is used more for leisure nowadays and offers a relaxing way to connect with nature. After a lovely start to the walk along the towpath, we're now going to leave the waterways behind, as well as the noisy motorway, and head off along the Paddyham Greenway. The Paddyham Greenway opened in 2011 and follows the route of the old Paddyham Loop railway line, which closed in 1964. The Greenway is a linear traffic-free park, making it a great resource for people of all ages to use for leisure, exercise and commuting to work and school. Junior park runs use the route, and it's suitable for wheelchairs and prams, as well as feet, horses and bikes. Vantage points along the route offer views of the surrounding area, including Orbiter Pendle Hill, and it's well worth stopping to take a quick photo. You can see a lot of well-built bridges along the route, made from local stone, and each one holds memories of the railway's history. As you go underneath bridge number two, look above you, and you'll notice that one side is much darker than the other, and that's because we're on a slope. The trains travelling uphill had to work harder than those going the other way, leaving a heavier trace of soot from the steam engines on one side of the bridge. This is the Miner's Bench, designed by Tim Norris, a commemorative seating area constructed from oak and local stone to reflect the mining community and miners who were once an integral part of the area. It's easy to miss Bridge 3 as you travel over it, but looking more closely, you can see lots of little holes in the stones. These are Lewis holes and were made by the tools that were used to lift the large stones into place during construction. You can also see large wing retaining walls too. We've now reached the portrait bench, which features images of three people who have links to Paddyham. Thomas Lund is a young man who won a competition to design the Paddyham Greenways logo. Margaret Pearson was known as the Paddyham Witch and was found guilty of witchcraft after standing trial in 1612, accused of riding a horse to death. The final figure is Albert Smith, a local man born in Rosegrove in 1903. He was based at Rose Grove Sheds for more than 40 years. The Greenway has really opened up the area, both for the people who live here and for visitors. Volunteers from the Friends of Paddy and Greenway have put a lot of time and effort into developing and maintaining this route, holding regular litter picks and planting trees along the Greenway. This helps to create an environment where wildlife and nature can flourish. Regular access points along the Greenway give the opportunity to visit other places too. If we turned right here and headed down Shakespeare Road, a mile long detour would take us to the gardens and grounds of Elizabethan mansion, Gothorpe Hall. The Greenway offers a scenic path to travel through residential areas and some access points are close to bus routes too, meaning the walk can be adapted to suit each person's needs. 
You wouldn't know to look at it now, but there used to be a railway station here. The line that ran between Paddyham and Rose Grove first opened on the 1st of July, 1875, for goods traffic. With passenger traffic being able to use the route just over a year later in September 1876. The very first passenger train to leave Paddyham Station set off with 70 people on board and local school children cheered the train as it set off. We next walked past the Paddyham Leisure Centre before reaching the River Calder. As you cross the stone arched viaduct look out for sections of original railings. Just past the bridge you can find the last remaining section of original railway track which was the head shunt for the sidings into a power station. We've arrived at Memorial Park in the centre of Paddyham. It's been open since 1921 and offers a beautiful relaxing space for residents and visitors. We've now reached the end of our walk and you've got a few options as to what to do next. If you retrace your steps back to Rosegrove Railway Station, you'll have completed a there and back again walk of just under five miles. If you'd like to extend the route, there's a fantastic circular six and a half mile walk that this can be the starting point for. We're going to head off on that now and show you some of the highlights. After walking up through town, the Paddyham Loop takes you through a beautiful stretch of old woodland where you might spot wildflowers like bluebells if you're lucky. And don't miss the Trail of Words artwork along the path. Look out for a glimpse of Gawthorpe Hall, nestled in the trees in the distance. The route passes farmland. Then a wooden bridge crosses the River Calder at a picturesque spot that's perfect for a picnic break and doing some bird watching. After heading uphill into Iton Hill, you drop down into town and pass near Burnley Barracks Railway Station, which is another option for travel. Our route then takes us back to the canal towpath where we can see one end of the Ganor Tunnel which is more than 500 metres long and took five years to complete. The towpath takes us under a large motorway bridge and along a pretty stretch of canal. And before we finish our walk, it's your last chance to look out for wildlife and enjoy the tranquility before heading back to the railway station. We hope you've enjoyed travelling along this route with us today, discovering the Paddyham Greenway and some of the different options for exploring from Rosegrove Railway Station. You can find a map of the route and discover more about railway history in this area by visiting the Community Rail Lancashire website.